On today's show, we're going to take some crab and some shrimp. We're going to create a nice little appetizer, a little start, a little party favor you can take on the road. How about a devil crab crusted butterfly shrimp? Sounds pretty daggone good, doesn't it? Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. Man, we got everything we need right here. So let's go ahead and get started on our crab and shrimp dish right now. Let's go ahead and get started on our devil crab crusted butterfly shrimp. Heck yeah, we've got everything we need right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at our wet ingredients, which is going to be right through here. We've got some uh, room temperature um, uh, cream cheese. Yeah, sour cream is right here. We also got sour cream. We've got some Dijon mustard. We've got some yellow mustard right there. We've got some mayonnaise. We've got some uh, room temperature butter and then we got a little bit of a lemon here we're going to use a little combination of the zest and the juice and then we got a little bit of hot sauce right there now dry ingredients uh you know what we'll go with this first uh these are just panko breadcrumbs get those from the store this right here is a little concoction that i came up with it's club crackers and the uh french fried onions you get at the store I, you know I think if we've all made green bean casserole, we put those on top. But anyway, <laughs> I, uh, I use two parts of the club crackers. You get a little sweetness and a little, a little buttery flavor from that to one part of the French fried onions, kind of sort of crunch everything up, put them in a Ziploc and roll them with a uh, rolling pin and get, until they get to a nice little consistency where they're all kind of sort of about the same uh, size and very similar to our panko. So that's going to be the main dry ingredients. Now right over here, we've got some herbs, fresh herbs. We've got some parsley and some fresh thyme that we've kind of minced up. And then right here, hopefully <laughs> I can remember what all we've got in here. Right in the middle, we've got some Old Bay seasoning. And in front of that is some cayenne pepper. And I guess we'll go this way. We've got some granulated onion powder. We've got celery seed. We've got lemon juice powder. We've got some paprika. This side, we've got some lime juice powder, granulated uh, onion powder. And I think that rounds everything off. And then of course, we've got our lump crab meat and our um, colossal or jumbo uh, 16, 20 count shrimp right here. Right now I'm gonna take and move these over here kind of out of the way because now we get to begin bringing all of these together except for the shrimp everything else is going to kind of go together and we're basically going to create uh, a devil crab filling so here is yep we'll do this we've got our bowl let's see what are we okay we're going to come in here let me grab and i thought i had everything almost sometimes i always seem to forget something but we're going to come in here with our cream cheese like so here comes our sour cream so i'm going to kind of get our um our wet ingredients in there and get them all nice and mixed up uh into a nice uh homogeneously creamy mixture yes sir big word for me so we're going to come in here with that there is our uh mayonnaise voila just like that good old duke's mayonnaise I'm going to come in here with our butter, just like so. And now, let's see, I will leave that here, put those up, and then we're going to get the old whisk. And we're going to try to mix these things all together. All right, I tell you what, man, that is looking pretty good. You know, that, that cream cheese kind of doesn't flow as nicely as everything else. So we want to come in here and get that all nice and, and combined and mixed up, just like so. Heck yeah, now I'm going to come in. Let's see here. You know what we're going to do? Uh, what am I going to do? I tell you what, I'm going to zest this. And I'm going to keep the zest to season up the shrimp. We're going to do that here in a quick second. So we're going to cut. Whoop, let's, ha, let's get the zester going the right way. And we're just going to come in here and we're going to take the zest right off of this guy. All right, I tell you what, I think that's going to be good. Boom. Now we got a little bit of zest we'll use here in a few minutes now i'm going to come in here with just a little bit of our juice kind of hold my hand over it to keep the the seeds from getting in there but well heck that didn't work <laughs> very well did it 
Man, I tell you what, I got, I'm glad I didn't put that up. I got three seeds right there. Dad, going on, how about that? One, and we got one more hiding. The last thing we want to do is take a bite of one of our nice little shrimp and find a nasty little seed in there. Heck yeah. So anyway, now I'm going to come in here just like so and finish out our wet ingredients before we put in our hot sauce. All right, I'll tell you what. And I'm going to come in with, uh, I don't know, a couple of nice little, yep, they got it'll work. I don't know. You know, the, 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 the hot sauce is kind of an option. I always like to throw it in there because you get, again, get a little bit of that vinegariness, vinegariness or vinegar flavor from that Louisiana style hot sauce and voila, there we are. How about that, man? That looks, the lit, you know, oh, you know what's right there? A little bit of that zest kind of fell over, so boom, we'll do that. Now I'm gonna come in here with our herbs, like so. And then, you know, let's go ahead and get that. Oh yeah, just like so. Now I'm gonna come in here with all of our dry ingredients. Do that, mix that in, heck yeah, just like so. Now I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of minutes while we begin to season up our shrimp. All right, let's take a look at getting our shrimp prepared and ready, kind of sort of butterfly, and then we're going to season them up. You know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of sort of cut the back of our shrimp. Y'all can see that, you know, this that's the way he <laughs> normally looks, and then we're gonna cut him right down the back, and what that's gonna do is allow him or her to sit up just like that with some of that great devil crab all crusted around it. Let me show you how I did that. So why not we just go ahead, those are already done. So. <laughs> so the magic of preparation maybe. So I'm gonna come in with a, you know, with a little small knife and just kind of cut down, not all the way through. You don't wanna go all the way through, just like so. And see how it kind of opens up like that. And you know, you, something you can just play with now, right at the end, end of the head or the head of the shrimp or where the head was, I'm just gonna come in and open that up just a little bit if you can see that right there. Now that's gonna allow this to kind of open up and set down, voila, just like that. How about that, not too hard. Again, just sorta of slowly come down and cut the end, voila. And you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta, gotta add a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a slice, but boom, there it is right there. And that's what we're looking for. So when he's done, you sit right there, you little guy, he's gonna have all that crab hanging around there. You can just grab that and eat him right up. Heck yeah. So there, we've got those. I, I don't even know. I think there's probably about a pound or so in there. I can't remember exactly what I have. And then I'm gonna come back in. Remember we had the, our, our zest, I think, just like so, voila. Now I'm gonna come in with just a little bit of salt. And that's really gonna be about the extent that I'm going to season the shrimp. Um, you know what, heck with it, we'll just go with our hands. <laughs> and we're gonna get those nice and, uh, you know what I think I am gonna do? I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of our lemon juice and hopefully, yep, <laughs> didn't get any, no seeds that time. So we're gonna come in here and get those nice and mixed up and we're gonna let those set for a couple of minutes while we finish off our devil crab crusting mixture. And by doing that, we're gonna grab our, our crab meat. We've got our, our wet ingredients. I think I'm done with this. And now we're gonna come in and let's see, what are we gonna do first? I'm gonna come in here with Let's see, you know what, I think we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna add the crab meat. Try not to, oh, oh Lordy, you got away from me. Just come in here and just kind of loosely break that up and then we're gonna then loosely um, kind of sort of fold everything else into this mixture. Come in here with a little spatula, just like so. And we're just gonna fold everything in there to get it nice and coated, just like so. Yes, oh wow. Ah, smells pretty good, nice, and see 
foodie, shall we say. Now I'm going to come in here, uh, let's see, about like that. And then we'll come in here with a little bit more like that. And now we'll see where that gets us because we don't want them to be too dry. But we do definitely want them to hold together. So that's what we're trying to do right here. Voila. So I tell you what, that is getting pretty darn close. Yes, sir. Ray. Now the recipe, uh, this is kind of, uh, I've done kind of half of what <laughs> the recipe is out there. Y'all can go to the website, goingfishing.com and get it. Uh, this is kind of sort of just enough to get through our video and for a little bit of uh, tasting afterwards. So, you know, I just want to come in here, grab this. So, you know, uh, the regular recipe that, 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 that we got out there, it's about a half a cup to a cup of dried uh, breadcrumbs or, or club cracker, panko, uh, crunched up fried French onions. And that's kind of sort of the, uh, the quantity there. Um, but the, again, I guess it's probably, that was probably a quarter, maybe a quarter cup, maybe two thirds of a cup that we used. I don't know exactly, but I think this is going to be perfect. Heck yeah, just like so. Yeah, that's looking good. I think that, that is perfect. Is that consistency right there? Consistency right there. How it's kind of holding together, you know, sticking to the spatula. That's perfect. So I tell you what, I think we're going to do a little bit of a clean up here and then we're going to get ready to get our shrimp going. All right, we got a little house clean and taken care of. Kind of got stuff out of the way and put up. So now it is time for us to begin crusting our butterfly shrimp with our oh, lovely and delicious double crab mixture. So first things we need to do is I've turned the oven down to about 376, 375, whatever, 374, anything like that. Uh, I'm kind of weird. I like even numbers, so. <laughs> 376 that's where that came from so we're going to come in this thing is uh, our cast iron skillet is preheated let's see to very hot temperature we'll just go ahead and do that i'm going to leave that one right where it is close that off and let's make sure we don't hurt ourselves and now let's begin what the heck is that i don't know <laughs> something on the back side of the towel i think it was some of this so let's go ahead and get into uh crusting our shrimp so let's uh I tell you what we've got this guy um yeah just right here i guess so again see how that little guy he just kind of sort of sits up right there so we're going to come in we're going to grab about a tablespoon of our devil crab mixture and it's kind of hard to do this one-handed and we're just going to add that right on top just like so Yes, oh, check that out right there. Heck yeah, isn't that? Oh, you telling me? How about that right there? Man, <laughs> that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna come in and we're just gonna drop that guy right there. And then we're gonna kind of sort of quickly go through and keep doing what we just did. Yes, sir. So we're gonna come in again, about a tablespoon or so, um, a heaping tablespoon, shall we say, just like so. Get that, that tail sitting right on top and we're gonna drop them oh yeah just like that and we'll just keep on doing this until we run out of either shrimp or our crab mixture all right i tell you what we are almost done crusting our shrimp right here heck yeah look check that out man heck yeah look at that nice little package of yumminess right there oh we got last one right here and i tell you what it looks like we can have a little bit of our devil crab left over we might be able to do a couple of things with that here in a second come on let go Let's get this last shrimp taken care of let's see here yep just like that oh man look at that yum 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 i you know what i'll set him right square in the middle okay so what do we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen is that that right yeah i think we got a baker's dozen of uh 
devil crab crusted butterfly and shrimp. Heck yeah. So, oh my, what are we going to do with this right here? I don't know. So, ha, actually, I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to spoon this into a little teeny uh, casserole, single serve casserole uh, dish, kind of sort of like this. I don't know, something, something cool like that. We'll have ourselves a nice little small devil crab, just like that. So I tell you what, we're going to go ahead, get this in the oven, just like that. And we're going to, oh, oh, oh almost forgot this one. <laughs> Didn't forget it. Anyway, so anyway, we're gonna we're gonna bake those 376, my magic numbers. Anyway, um, <laughs> for about 12 to 14 minutes till that internal temperature gets uh, about three, not three. Listen to me, about 170, 165, 170 degrees. Huh. So then, wow, it's gonna be time to plate and taste. Oh yeah. Oh man, I tell you what, man, those things. Ha, they're looking good. I went ahead and took them out of the oven. I tell you what, they've rested for just a few minutes so they're not <laughs> too terribly hot. But oh my goodness, check this out. Grab this little guy right here. Yep, he'll work. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Ah, delicious. Oh man, got a nice little base on the bottom. Tell you what, I think I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> give this little guy a shot. You know what, I think, I think it'll be good enough. I'm just going to eat this just like this. Mmm. 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 Man, that is delicious. Oh, wow. Mmm. Let me shut up. <laughs> oh, man. Unbelievable. All those, all those uh, dry herbs we had in our uh, herbs, our, our spices. Pardon me for chewing and eating. I apologize for that. Mmm. Unbelievable. Check this little guy out here. Heck yeah. We've got our own little small. Devil crab, heck yeah, right there. Yeah, that, that one's gonna be good here. Ha, definitely in a few minutes, oh man. You get that nice celery seed flavor. You get the heat from the cayenne and the old bay. Everything else kind of sort of coming. You get a little bit of that citrus flavor uh, from the, uh, from, from, well, obviously from our lemon, our little uh, zest. Heck yeah, those are unbelievable. You know what, let's go ahead and get this sucker, plate it up. Oh man, heck yeah, how about that? Got a nice little plate arranged. Got some little key lime sitting right here. Some lemons kind of sort of cut those up. And I tell you what I also did, while they were cooking, I went ahead and created a little citrus beurre blanc or a citrus butter sauce. So we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna add a little bit of goodness right there. And you know what, we'll just, yeah, we'll just do that with a couple of, looks like some, uh, some, some, some eyeglasses right there, but no, that's fine. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. So I tell you what, we're gonna come in. What are we gonna do here? We will grab this little guy, I think. Ow, ow, ow. Grab him, put him right here. Mm, yum, yum. Let's see, yeah, I'm gonna grab this one here. I think, heck yeah. Put him right there, and why not? We'll just grab, I don't know, this one. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> kinda hard to make a decision, but anyway, there we are. This little guy right there. Heck yeah. Mm, mm. Oh wow, check that out right there. Are you kidding me? Man, oh, and, and the flavors are unbelievable. I tell you what we're gonna do, a little bit of dried parsley right here. We'll just come in here and maybe just hit a little bit of, add a little bit of color to it. Here you go, eh, it's not too bad. I guess that'll work. Heck yeah, but man, check that out right there. Hey, if you want the recipe, and I hope you do, because those things are delicious, check out the description down below. We've got a link that takes you right to the recipe. And I tell you what, hey, speaking of recipe, how about right down there? Crab cakes, huh? try the uh, sheep's head and scallop cakes we did a while back. And right there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. It all does help. And until next time, God bless, and we'll see y'all soon.